So when I first thought about pursuing a career in law, I think I was like so many young kids trying to decide what do you want to do in life. And I had actually attended court with my dad. He had taken me just to watch some court proceedings, uh, which is sort of like watching paint dry on many occasions. But you would see sometimes how someone's life could be changed by a decision by a judge or by something that they had chosen to do about how a case was handled. I, as your name, I, Loretta Elizabeth Lynch, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend I uh, had always been interested in law enforcement and interested in, in prosecution. I think for me it was um, more of a family history issue. My dad is a retired minister, my mother is a retired librarian. They were always working on a social issue. My father was always using his church for meetings uh, when I was very, very young. Uh, we lived in Greensboro, North Carolina. He opened up the basement of his church to the students who were leading the sit-in movement at that time uh, and let them meet there and let the marchers plan there. He was one of only two churches who did that. So he's always had that focus. My mother has always also had a focus on education and equal rights and standing up for yourself. And so I got that from them. I enjoyed my time at the law school. I've always thought it was very important to always remember that the purpose of the law is to order our lives. How do we live together? How do we interact with each other? How do we deal with conflict? How do we, in fact, account for ourselves? And I think people do struggle with that. For me, I think it really came to fruition um, when I was here in law school. I enjoyed um, the different perspectives. You know, talking to people who, who saw an issue in a very different way than, than I did was eye-opening, it was engaging, it was what I came here for. I was involved in activities here, I was on the Legal Aid Society uh, for a few semesters. Um, and, and being able to actually work for indigent people and go to court and make a change in someone's life was tremendous. One of the things I, I learned here is that the problem that someone first presents to you is very often not the problem that they really have. It may be the symptom of the problem that they have. So I felt that Harvard gave me the ability to look beneath the obvious and try and find those core issues and decide how I wanted to deal with them. I am committed to ensuring that this nation protects the civil liberties of every American while also keeping our country safe and secure. The Department of Justice is the only cabinet department named for an ideal. And this is actually appropriate because our work is both aspirational and grounded in gritty reality. I have complete confidence that the common sense steps announced by the president are lawful. They are consistent with the Constitution as interpreted. People who go into law enforcement, whatever their background, have as the common goal the desire to protect people, the desire to make this a safe country for everyone, the desire to make every community safe. It should not be the case that people have this tremendous fear uh, of law and law enforcement. It's something that I've actually tried to work on a great deal in both my times in government as a U.S. attorney and as the attorney general to take the Department of Justice outside of Washington and let people know that this is their department and it works for them. It certainly should work for and be responsive to them. The law governs the lives of ordinary people and it needs to be inspired by the needs of ordinary people from all walks of life and it needs to have the discussion and the thought of different perspectives and that's what enriches the law that's what makes it better and so i intend to continue to be a voice uh, for those who may feel that they, they don't have a voice um, my role however is simply to empower them uh, that's how i've always seen it and i hope to continue in that role